Hey everybody, Dave Acton checking in. It's Saturday, November 17th. A lot of talk about an earthquake hit in Los Angeles in the next week. There's been a lot of 6.0s on that ring of fire. It's coming around to Los Angeles. I don't want to create panic. I just want to give you some tips, especially if you're parents, uh, especially if you live around Long Beach on that Inglewood Fault. Killed 120 people in 1933, so there is an active fault down there. If you have kids in junior high and below, do you have a plan for reunification if there's an earthquake? Because, God forbid, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, quake hits, structural collapse, 200 kids are trapped, you work 15 miles away, you're not even going to be able to get to the school for 7 or 8 hours. Where are those kids going to be at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock at night? They're not going to be at the school. They're going to be turned over to, like, Child Protective Services. What is your reunification plan? What is your communication plan? Because their text and their cell phone's not going to work. Have you talked about that with your school system? If you have kids in government schools, do you have a plan on how you're going to get reunified? Because the plan is right now that teachers go home after a while. They're not going to stay there and babysit your kids. It's not their responsibility. They're going to be making phone calls to turn those kids over to somebody. And what about the roads? What happens if you can't even get to the school because the roads are blocked? And if your kids are bussed on school buses, those school buses are all going to be commandeered for moving medical patients around. Oh, by the way, the hospital, the eastern wing of the hospital collapsed, so they just evacuated 300 patients. So there's not going to be any more x-rays, there's not going to be any more uh, ER services. So what patients are hurt, they're going to put on school buses and take them to another hospital somewhere else. So have you talked to your school district or your school to figure out what your unification plan is for your kids if you live in L.A. County? That's number one. Number two, just at a practical level, make sure your kids have a little flashlight in their little lunch bag and a way to see because you know what when it's total darkness last thing in the world you want to be doing is running around like this because when you fall and hit your face on some concrete take a big bite out of the curb you're gonna cause more injuries for yourself so are you carrying a flashlight if you're an adult are you carrying a headlamp in your car because flashlights get old after a while just carrying them with one hand you know that you can't you can only do things with the other hand so do you have a headlamp I don't know. You know, I could go on forever about these things. Uh, do you know where your local park is for a water source? You know, parks and recreations are normally the ones that the city or the county looks to to do emergency sheltering. So chances are, if there's a really bad earthquake, the city's going to push people over to parks and give them blue tarps and set up a tent city. Okay, are you ready for that? Are you ready to go to the park? Is there water sources at the park? These are the scenarios, folks. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I've been trying to get my friends to move out of L.A. for a long time now. And, of course, the county commissioners and the supervisors, they're all mad because it sounds like you doom and gloomers are lowering property value in L.A. Hey, guys, can we deal with reality here for a little bit? I mean, let's just take a look at it. The, the predictions for 7.7 .7 in greater Los Angeles are 20,000 dead immediately, 250,000 seriously injured that will die within a day if they don't get medical care. So that's roughly a quarter of a million bodies. Who's going to take care of those bodies? Under city, county, state law, it's supposed to be the sheriff's department. They're not going to have deputies to go around to care for these bodies. What's the plan? It's going to be a lot of problems going on. I think we should start talking about it if you guys want to live down there. It's nice to go out to those fancy restaurants, but you're living in a death trap. But I'm not supposed to say that because it's unpopular. So, what am I going to do? Until next time, this is David Acton.